What up, y'all? It's Supreme Draft time. You know what time it is. Dream Eater. I believe you can get me through the night. This is like, this format's actually really enjoyable because getting first picks in every pack and whatever you want is really, really nice. I feel like Dream Eater is probably the pick here, right? I think Dawn of Hope's also very good. It might be too slow, but nonetheless, like... Someday... When the life has passed me by... Is it just Double Sphinx? I mean, I also like Luminous Bonds. Luminous Bonds also very, very good, right? This one is actually good. Destroy an artifact creature, enchantment, target creature gets plus one, plus one, gain death touch. This is actually very good as well. Let's take Dream Eater, because we're obviously... Dawn is trash. Wow, that's wild. I mean, this is just a 5-4 flyer for 6. This is just big, right? I'm just going to take the blue. There's no reason to go into, like, a, a Saltai deck immediately. Oh, is this a Hydroid Crassus? Kind of. That's an old school Hydroid Crassus. Target player loses one life, discards a card, then sacrifices a permanent. And then you put it on your dude. It's not terrible. What if we take... What if we just take the all the mill cards? We could just take Paranoid Delusions. Oh, Urbis Protector is great. Let's take Urbis Protector. Let's just take three six drops as our first three picks. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on here. I just want to take this and drag it down. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think it is too slow. Like four mana, tapping four mana is just really expensive to make a one one. And even keeping up two to draw a card is pretty bad. I kind of think Nimbus Weaver is great. Like, for three mana, you get a 2-2 two, two flyer. For four mana, you get a 3-3 three, three flyer. Like, this guy scales fantastically. No, no, wait. I'm off. I'm off by a mana. 2-2 two, two for four, 3-3 three, three for five. 4-4 four, four for six. It's still good. Matt does not think it's good. Simic Flux Mage seems fine. Actually, Daring Skyjack's probably fine. Just a 3-1 on the ground. Like, this pack is not... There's not a great second pick here. Frilled Oculus is also okay. Well, I go to third color because none of the blue... None of the blue or white cards are very good. I mean, these, these are fine. This is fine, but like... I'll take Flux Mage. I think it's fine. I mean, guys, we're going to be three to four colors anyway. Like, let's not be... Let's not be silly. Return a creature you control to Summoner's Hand. 6-6 six, six for five. Tristani Summoner seems banging. Can I give out Arena Codes here? For sure you can. Definitely can. Uh, I think we just take Tristani Summoner and the Celestia Guildgate, to be honest. And if we get anything to blink, like Urbis Protector, Tristani Summoner, and Dream Eater are all fantastic to blink. So if you guys see any blink cards, let me know, because I may overlook them. I want to take the guild gate. Eh. Eh. <coughs> oh, Law Mage's Binding is great. Let's take Law Mage's Binding for sure. Girl Beastmaster, whenever this attacks, another creature gets plus X plus O. Cool, that's cool. I'm going to take Gateway Plaza. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. This guy's actually, this guy was great in the format, but yeah, we're taking Plaza here. Looks like we got old school Ravnica here. Not great for our colors. Destroying all non-token creatures. We have Urbis Protector and Trostani Summoner. That's fascinating. I actually don't hate Hour here. It's very interesting. I don't hate Terrarian either. Fist of Iron one is also pretty sweet. Just gives Trample, but it also makes two one ones. I actually kind of like Fists into Hour. Like that's a kind of cool. That's kind of a cool thing that's happening. Ooh, Watcher in the Mist is nice. Maybe we're just three colors this time. Isn't that weird? 
Uh, one one puts counter on something else. Seems dece. <coughs> Quasi duplicate is pretty sweet because you can copy Herbus Protector or Trustani Summoner, but then it also makes tokens that don't die to Hour of Reckoning. Actually, I kind of like that a lot. And let's take Watcher. Want enough for another try? You were always there for me. Send like Ascendancy. Put a 1-1 counter on target creature. Whenever one or more 1-1 one -one counters are put on any creature under your control, put that many growth counters on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think Guildgate's actually good. Is Ascendancy any good? Ugh, the Ascendancy just seems like really mana intensive. I actually kind of like Imprisoned Orator. Like, it's weird, but it's just like a 2-2 that gains you a bunch of incremental life with all our tokens and things. What the hell is double season? Do you mean doubling season? <clears throat> and if so, I really don't think that's in... Oh, it, is that... That's not in Ravnica, right? Yeah, that's weird. It's weird that you like that. I mean, you want two drops, right? Like... Guys, Yogurt Drink is giving out arena codes. So if you want to grab some arena codes in the chat. Grasping Thrall is also just fantastic. I want to take the Grasping Thrall and I have no problem being black now. But Grasping Thrall was one of the premier commons in this format. Oh, is it Boilerworks? But we're not red. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> this pack is actually terrible for us, which is really weird. It might just be Boilerworks. I don't love it. Because, like, right now we have double blue, double blue, double white, double blue, triple white. I think it's got... I mean, it's, like, one of the better picks in the pack, which is really ironic. I also don't hate Orzov Guild Mage, I guess. This pack is not very good, though, surprisingly. Osteary Thrill is alright. Actually, I'll just take the Osteary Thrill. Celestia Signet and a Rot Farm. Absolutely love it. Signet, on color Signet and Rot Farm, which lets us cast Thrall and Grasping Boy. Yeah. Guild Mage. There's no guild. There's no Guild Mage in here. What are you saying right now, Timothy? Sedek Wayfinder also very very good. Uh, I don't think Wayfinder is better than a than a Rot Farm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Sapphire Drake. Each creature with a counter gets plus one. Plus one. <laughs> Prophetic Prism is a fantastic. What does this Primordial do? I think all the Primordials are pretty decent. 5-4 for, for, for 7 with Intimidate. For each opponent, you may put one creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield. That seems great. I'm going to take Prism and Primordial. And we are having a very expensive deck right now. Ooh, Knight of Autumn and Find Broker? <sighs> How good is our mana? I want both of these. Oh, wow. Those are like the only cards that are even grabbing my attention even remotely. Yeah, we're taking Find Broker. It's hard, it's hard on the mana, but that's fine. <clears throat> it's just four colors. Four colors all day, guys. This is a four color format. Four color, no reds. Rakdos the Defiler, 7-6. When he attacks, sacrifice half the non-demon permanents you control. When he deals combat damage, they sack half the non-demon per permanents they control. I think Fine Burker is also a bit of a stress, but we already took Primordial, so like our mana base is probably going to improve. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> I think Guardian is fine. Oh, God, Wrecking Ball for five colors. We do have Prism and Boilerworks in Gateway Plaza so far. I also think Silkwing Scout is fine. It's just it's just a two-one flyer that finds a land. Yeah, I think we're taking the Scout. I don't care about Flux Mage. <clears throat> I 
I do like Wrecking Ball. I also think Gordian, Gordian <laughs> Guardian of the Guild Pact is fine. I mean, it can just hold a bunch of creatures off. I am tempted to take Wrecking Ball. I think our mana is probably going to be fine. And five colors is just like... I think we're just taking Wrecking Ball. Pillory is nice. Oh, Gruel Turf and Pillory? That seems legit. There's also Jelectrode. Which is real sweet. But we're not really a deck that's going to take advantage of... We're definitely taking Gruel Turf here. Probably taking Pillory too. Yeah, this seems good. Oh boy. Another Law Mage is binding. Code of Constraint, negative four, draw a card. Okay. Enraged Saratok is actually just fine. We have a significant number of green lands as well so far. Double green is kind of rough. Savage Smash also pretty good. <clears throat> David, this is on Magic Online. There's no way any of these cards would be uh, of the original Ravnica would be programmed. <laughs> I think Binding Light number two and, and, and Savage Smash is fine. I'm trying... I don't like Guild Gate. How many... Do we have Boilerworks, Rule Turf, and Rot Farm. We have three Bounce Lands so far. We have 11 creatures already too. Yeah, I'll take Binding number two. We have a lot of removal. Like, I feel like we're just taking mono removal in this format. There's also 20 cards and we have four packs left. So that's actually probably fine. I was actually losing track of the... I really would like another Signet or two. Hmm... I kind of want Saratok. I just want another threat. Oh, Demir Aqueduct. Wow. The rich get richer. Oh, yeah. Demir Aqueduct is phenomenal. <clears throat> Last Gasp is nice. Compulsive is nice. We do have 12 creatures. We have a lot of top end. How much removal do we have? Like a lot. Binding, Binding, Pillory. Wrecking Ball. I actually don't have as much removal as I expected. I'm taking the last gasp. I think Compulsive's great, but... How many is too many? Are we there yet? Oh, man. I don't even know. Twin Strike kills too many to creatures. Yeah, I, I think Twin Strike is actually fantastic. That's a... And it's an instant... Um, oh God, Rakdos Carnarium, though. I mean, we already have Boilerworks, Rule Turf, Rot Farm, Aqueduct. Like, we have four right now. If this was a, a repeat, I would, I probably wouldn't take it. But because it's a new one, I think we're taking it. And that's going to be the last land we take. Gyre Sage actually seems great here. Like, we do want some cheap stuff to be able to play so we don't die. And we also want to... If we're on the draw, we want to be able to play two drops before um, our opponents are able to take our life. I want to take Gyre Sage. It's also just good. <clears throat> I think Angelic Edict is fine as a way to get rid of an enchantment. We also have Knight of Autumn, so... Gold Charm. Uh, creatures offline can't block. In control of all permits you own. It deals three each creature flying. It's all right. I think it's a fine sideboard card. I don't think we want any more lands, though. I think we want to have a bunch of basics. I don't think we want two, because, like, if we take a guild gate, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine lands that come into play tapped. It's kind of rough. I'm going to take this for the sideboard. We have two more packs left. Frenzied Tilling actually seems pretty decent for this deck, because, like, we get to ramp on five, and then, like, hit it hits any color. And then it ramps us to seven, which is kind of where we want to be. I actually don't hate that. So we're definitely heavy blue. I think we're actually heaviest blue-black 
green, to be honest. We might have to cut our. I do like tilling. I think tilling is good. I wish we got one more signet, but this is the last pack. Knight of Obligation is pretty good. I like Knight. Alright. <clears throat> this is 26 cards. We have to make one cut because I'm probably... I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut the hour out. I think we're probably good without it. Wow, this deck looks wild too. All these decks have looked just insane. And, and I think this speaks to the, <laughs> the ridiculousness of the format. I don't think we actually need any... Actually, we do want we we want probably what one mountain, <clears throat> just to be able to search for it. Uh, with something like frenzy tilling, or silkwing scout. Um, so we have ten and ten of black and blue. So for blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. I probably want six. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> White, we only have nine sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Green, we have nine sources. So we have one, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It's 41. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we actually don't need the red to search for with Frenzied Tilling because we'll already have a red to do that. I can cut the red. This is 15 lands. Yeah, let's do it like this. Three cards. <laughs> oh, sweet sideboard. Let's do it. Oh, wow. See, this is the problem you want to avoid. But you mulligan quite well when you have multiples. All right, we're doing it. This is what living the dream feels like. Well, Ferris Grill has really gone downhill when he's starring in dreams now, it's true. <clears throat> Man, this is the second death rate shaman we've seen. A Celestia signal we be banging, because then we can go signal into Geyer Sage. Huh? Okay, well, you tried. Okay, burning tree emissary, huh? Into bomber core. Okay. I accept. Bounce your swamp. Bounce the swamp. Dang it. They didn't bounce the swamp. Mm-hmm. 
Land. We need to land. That that's actually very good. <clears throat> Are we evolving, boys? Can we get a pack counter? Well, to be fair, not all packs have Boros Reckoner in them. Only the Gate Crash packs, I imagine. Also, we didn't see one yesterday either. This is our fourth <clears throat> Supreme Draft. Sacrifice Creature, it deals two damage to any target if the Sacrifice Creature was red. Draw a card if it was black. Okay. I accept. Mm -hmm. So right now we have one, two, three. We have five mana. No white, though. Oh, well, that'll do. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we just can't cast anything here, unfortunately. <sighs> find broker? Maybe we just find broker to... That doesn't seem good, though, right? Okay. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five. We did need that second green. I think the man in this deck is a little more ambitious than normal, but you know, that's okay. I'm pretty sure you just alpha here and shoot my guy for one. And I will gladly trade with something. Oh, I'll trade with Lazolda for sure. That's fine. Yeah, this guy, we're not in the position to really take advantage of this guy, so. <clears throat> Easy blocks. They still have three cards, and we still have five, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get rid of quasi duplicate. Don't care about that. Getting overtime workout. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate, especially when you get the Lazolda back. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We need another green source here or another white source. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Yeah, our mana base is very ambitious here. Oh, boy. El Minister, clearly you're not familiar with the internet's use of the word spoopy, which is just a jokey play on the word spooky. So, it's definitely not a typo. It's just a funny meme. Yeah, alright, well. This is something alright. Somewhere out there. You can't play a deck of Boros Reckoners. The odds of getting all gate crash packs with all Boros Reckoners is like... 10... 50 bajillion to zero. It's not even a real thing. The university is a large place. <laughs> That's not what you meant.
Working overtime workout. Honestly, I might just want another land in the deck. We might just want 16 lands because we have a lot of expensive stuff. And we want to make sure we have enough basics to, to actually play these things. So. I'll take one from your bomber corpse. What's better? The white land, 34, or the gruel turf? You have too many cards in hand. Your mother has too many cards in hand. Got them. Jesus, what's it like to be murdered so brutally? Just took him down. Oh, shit. Well, that's a problem. Let's minimize the amount of damage we take from this idiot. <clears throat> The translation company that did the, all the translations for our game did a terrible job, but reviewed itself, and its work on our games is very good. I can only judge the German translation. They got our OG English version and translated it to several other languages. But that alone seems abysmal. Like, done in Google Translate. It's inferior. That sounds terrible. Land. Gyre stage, huh? Well, then. That does block, ironically. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next time we can play this. If we draw a blue, we can play this or this. Or Bedevil. Sounds good. Yeah, we're still fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> working overtime workout we have no blue and only single black so our hand is actually pretty terrible right now let me just kill this too fantastic you're doing very well doing very very good for yourself <sighs> I mean we had an ambitious mana base what can you do we go to five. We're not dead. That's worse. We can still target that guy. Yep. Don't think that gets us out of this pickle, but maybe. Yeah, the throw pick throwing us into the into the fourth color was really our downfall. But then we are in the fifth color now too. Oh crap! Sure, uh, this guy because it doesn't do anything. This is a play that assumes we're probably going to be able to kill the street breaker worm. So, if you got any haste creature, we're just dead. So. Uh, because the Dream Eater still does something on the board if we're able to cast it. The Sphinx does nothing. I mean, I guess, like, we could just play this. I don't know. I, I, don't, I really didn't think it mattered, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. We allowed it to attack, so that's... It doesn't remove it from combat. It just... 
lets it attack. Yeah, that was terrible. That was not great. <laughs> I mean, we're drawing Fist of Ironwood anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... We have an ambitious deck. I think it's good. But I think our mana base could use some work. We did not smash. The smash was us. And working overtime workout. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. <clears throat> got all of our colors except for one of them well jund more specifically signet fists of ironwood eh I don't think it's worth discarding here. The Rot Farm doesn't get us closer to casting anything except for fists on one of their creatures. <laughs> so. All their creatures were gruelies. That's true. Are you going to crack this immediately? No, you're just going to play tap land. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like this card at all. I kind of just want to trade it for something else. When you have five bounce lands being on the play is really nice. Mythic Planeswalker. Seems good. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yep, I guess we're just playing this. Bouncing planes. Guess we'll discard fists. It's not super exciting. One, two, three, four, five mana. So next turn we can just play a knight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is, I'm sure this is going to go well. Protean Hulk with haste. Yeah. These games have been going well. Let's concede. One, two, three, four, five. We're two turns away from this. Can't cast Twin Strike. Yeah, I don't like Quasi Duplicate. I'd rather just have another land in the deck, I think. Add a mountain. I have three red cards though, is that correct? I don't know. Keep on the play. Oh yeah, we're doing this. This is it. This is where everything turns around for us, guys.
big tilling. Working overtime, work out. Pelario. Monosignets.deck over here. That guy's going to be good one day. He's going to be a big boy one day. Can we do anything? We have three mana, so the answer is no. So, I guess we just play Rakdos Carnarium. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Discard an island. Oh, they didn't pump. Interesting. Well, we're definitely going to Frenzied Tilling. Something for six mana at the end of my turn. Oh, you're going to zap this guy? Sure, that seems good. I was like, what are you going to do at the end of my turn? I guess we're taking six. There's a lot of signets. Every game with this guy. Draw two. Draw one. It is rare. With haste. Okie dokie. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. Three, four, five, six, seven mana. This Protean Hulk again. No, just Exava. Five, five. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six and three doesn't get us there. Hmm. 
The problem is you don't have enough white, so it doesn't really matter if we have nine. Like, we need white, 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 blue, and we only have blue, blue, white, so... Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's a flavor win right there. <laughs> saucing myself out. <laughs> oh man, it happens. It happens. So they have five mana to play something here. Okay, Augur Spree on my... That's it? Oh, that's just fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We can work at night by night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six, we can keep up this guy. That seems good. One, three, nope. I mean, I wish they had a creature in their graveyard. I, I just don't feel like playing a 5-4 when I can play this. Because of the whole graveyard thing. Man, Prophetic Prism OP. Okay, we're not dead yet. Went to put the cat food in my trunk, and that's where the old cat food was. Okay, this is actually pretty good because it gets riot, so you get a 5-5. Five, five. I'll probably just block this guy if they want to. Do the deed. actually works out really well for us because we just trade here which is totally fine it becomes a 2-2 two -two and then it gets plus 2 plus 2 so yep that's fine oh and now we get no vengeance sages out of the graveyard yes see now we got a game You missed your chance to neg three, neg three him? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now, Rook Cup?
Uh, the graph means they enter the battlefield with the counters. They there's no chance where you get to negative three, negative three M. It's a zero zero. It's gonna die to state based effects if it's really coming into play as a zero zero. That's pretty good. Okay, so we lost Dom Ray. Hopefully we only hit one creature, maybe. Oh, Silkwing Scout, that's it? Great. You should have killed him when you had the chance, Charles! Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think I'm going to graft onto that, no. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think I will. Well, that's not ideal. Fourteen. This is ten, and we have pillory on board. So, oh, what up, Dillon Mace? Uh oh, they're doing the trickery. Doing trickeration. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this guy just dies, right? Okay. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. Do I graft onto this guy? Two three threes? No, because I want to use this guy's ability probably more frequently than I want to be grafting, so... Uh, Frank Mike doesn't get his mic capitalized, but I slowly... Yeah, that's true. It's mostly just because I think you guys... You guys deserve it, you know? Because you're worth it. Well, maybe we should have. I mean, I think we're still good. Oh, yeah, okay. So you're, what are you going to bounce? 4-1-1. One, one. Okay, so you got forest in hand. Good to know. They're on two-turn clock, so don't be a land. Oh, baby. This is one of my when doves cry. So we're going to go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't want to graph because I want to keep all four counters on, on the Novingen Sages because if they kill the Novingen Sages, I want to be able to draw two cards. Once we move a counter, I don't think you can do that, right? Two counters for... Oh, for among creatures you control. So you can still do it. I could have grafted. I could have done it. They died anyway, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Do we want to bar board any of these things in? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just going to submit. I feel like our deck is good. 
it's just a little rough around the mana base if you know what I mean This hand seems good. They went to six. What if we're doing it? What if it's happening, guys? Something I was taking a big round on Frank's stream is his chat box on the side so you don't have to have the stupid Twitch chat box taking up a third of my phone screen. I, I do have that. Yeah, I have that on purpose, actually. And also, it's for people on YouTube when they're watching YouTube videos and, like, I can't respond to something or make a joke. And they're going to be like, I don't understand what he's talking about. So. Oh, no signet? They have like three signets and like three guild gates in their deck. Next time we get to go signet into guild gate. It's pretty decent. This like kind of turns our whole hand on a little bit oof prism too huh okay well that definitely turns our whole hand on night of obligation like that Give me a bounce land. Oh my god, I'm good at this game! How good is he? Fucking, he's just so good. Are we gonna win this match? Guys? Are you gonna kill this guy immediately? It's fine if you do. Oh, you're just gonna draw two? Cute. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana next turn. Only. Oh, we got double blue as well, so we could Dream Eater? Yeah, Kerwitz actually working on a plugin. Is a plugin? What would you call it? The uh, it's an API for the zippity bop scoop deep de doops. Um, that lets you that lets you like if you post a, a an image in the chat or a link, it'll show up with like a a thumbnail. So if you're on YouTube, you don't have to like click the links or enter them into the like into the web into the web browser. All right, what does this guy do? Surveil four, return a non land permanent to an opponent's hand. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Probably just gonna pass and just do that. I think a chemistry's inside again? Notion Thief. That's just fine. Kind of wild, but just fine. Sure, that's also fine. I don't care about any of these things. Whenever a creature you control with a bonus encounter out deals combat damage to a player, they don't have anything. What is this trash? I don't have the extort mana, unfortunately, so I'm going to say no. Play this thing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Graveyard. You know what? These are all good enough to draw, so I have no problem drawing them. Um, good lord. Yeah, those are all fine. I'm going to bounce this guy because they don't have white mana. I think this game's absolutely over. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Herbis, and we'll extort. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, this is more expected for our deck. Do we take the quasi duplicate out? The card is trash, and we added a mountain just so we don't have to rely that heavily on the other cards. Yeah, that was our. All right. 
Wow, I'm really glad you appreciate the setup, because I actually tried to have it stand out from, like, your very, very typical magic setup, which is, like, box, and then, you know, like, webcam box here, chat box here, like a sponsor box. Like, everyone has that. Like, everyone has it. So, I don't know. I definitely tried to um, make it a little more clean. Uh, Snapkeep. Gonna lead with black, because if we draw anything, like, to bounce... Like, it's... Golgari Fineworkers double black, so... No real. Oh, that's pretty good. Bellario. Silk wing scout. Oh, you're going to do it this way. Okay, I see what you're saying. Man, a, a bounce land would have been bonkers here. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> go to your hand or go to the board? I'm battlefield, okay. Just gonna pass here, gonna make them activate it, and then we can sack it on activation, I guess. So, I'm actually tempted to grab a land now. Like, they're just going to kill it and I'd rather not have to keep up mana next turn, so. What do we need? Probably just a green source, right? We have everything else. We don't have red, but I think it's, I think we want double green for this guy. We have double blue. where we draw twin, twin strike oh actually we don't even need we have gateway plaza so yeah like now we have black black green green for the for the fine broker and another one two three four five six hmm. yeah i think it's just night here Fist of Iron one, pretty bad with Rakdos, Exploder on the board. Oh, actually we could have played Dream Eater, I guess. That would have been good, too. Okay, he gone. Mm, Night of obligation. 
Thank you. The Mike Hypothesis. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. Well, now we get to dream eat. I have to sneeze. It's gonna feel it. Yeah, I'll take two. Oh yeah, we're definitely like bouncing the X splitter. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we kind of want Rot Farm or Guild Gate here, which we'll play next turn. I think we can put the other one in the trash. I think Rot Farm is just better, considering we're not going to use it next turn either way. Graveyard. Um, top, top, and then top. I guess we're taking a point because they're going to shoot us. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yep, bounce that dude. Um, so let's go one, two, three, three, pillory on this guy. And let's just make a 4-3 here. Four color good stuff. Sammy, this is five color good stuff, my dude. Oh, we Dragonauts. Thank you. Kurt with the gift that sub to Ninja. <laughs> See, that's funny. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy. That's a thing, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just play Summoner here. Four, four, three, three, two, two, and a one, one is probably enough to keep the. And next turn we can find Broker the Dream Eater, but we also have um, Last Gasp coming. So, so we know they have Rakdos, Explorer, and two other cards. 
one of them was land. Eight mana now. There's Exploiter, I think. Yep, that seems fine. And I don't care about that at all. Jeez. I probably just want to kill the Exploiter, right? Like, especially with Fists. So do we have green, 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 black, black, black? Black, black, black. Yes, we do, actually. They have no cards in hand? Sure. Uh, I'm just getting rid of this. I think this is more important to get rid of now. Uh, it deals one damage to each creature, so... But, I mean, like, do they have the luxury of not blocking here, so... Like, they can prevent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have 8 Trample coming through. Plus 3, 4, 5, 6. It's, you know, I don't... This guy's Trample. And this guy's Trample. So, like, I think they're just dead. This is not how trample works, I don't think. Yeah, okay. I was like, this is a lot of trample, man. All right, I'm gonna go get a salad. Oh, that sounds delicious. I haven't had a salad in ages. Man, our deck is performing admirably after that round one. And round one and round two game one loss. Dang it. I think we still keep this hand. I'm sending you a salad? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh damn it. I mean, I guess that's fine. You really should have a salad today. Dang, you guys are... Actually, I like this because they play a thing we can last gasp it and then start on our on our bounce land train. I love salads. They didn't play anything. That's sad. Give me a green. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. That's kind of like a green. I don't like Caesar dressing because it has ancho anchovies in it. Don't give me anything Caesar. You like crout I love croutons. Apparently, beggars can be too. I'm not begging. He offered. I didn't even ask. How am I the beggar? Matthew thinks he's so funny so often. Oh, this goes back to its hand. For some reason, I thought it just died. Well, that's better, I guess. Man, I wish Rot Farm came down last turn so we could play this 4 4. Do you like futons? No one likes futons, Chris. Oh man, dry salad sounds terrible, Sammy. <clears throat> You'll lose the mana. Buddy, I know it. I 
They have seven cards. We have seven cards. You okay with chicken? Yeah, I'm okay with... You know I'm okay with chicken. I'd probably block. This guy's annoying enough to... To get blocked on. Let's get in there. Do you like the, the Tetons, the mountain range? I do. I like futons, tetons, and croutons. Except for futons. So, two of those things. Ick splitter. Ick splitter. Ick splitter nights. Mm, yeah, okay, that's fine. Ick hmm. splitter nights. Well, this seems better than taking three. They're also at 16, so like this is just a clock. And we get to smooth our draws. <laughs> oh boy, this is beautiful. Put you into the graveyard. We have two more bounce lands in our hand. Um, just keeping all of this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn we can have seven. We can play Primordial. I don't think that's great, though. We'll probably just play Knight of Obligation. Put on top. Put on top. Put on top. Bounce this idiot. Not blooded. Not blooded nights. That's not the song at all. <laughs> you can't bounce me if I've already bounced myself. <laughs> Joke's on you. I was going back to the hand anyway, idiot. <laughs> Stupid. Oh my god, Kerwit just ordered me a salad. Unbelievable. God, Kerwit's the best, dude. I'll take two. What'll you take? Is it really unbelievable? I mean, no, it's not. One, two, three, four. Tick-tock, Saratok. Gruel Turf. Bounce this guy. Now I got eight power on the board. What you gonna do about that? I've ordered you food in three different states. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. See, now once I visit Seattle and you have to order me food when I'm in Seattle and you can be like, "That's 4 out of 50." And then we just got to have a world tour where you can just order me food in all every different state. Kurt asked all those questions about what you want in your salad, but then you sent but then sent you a fried food. Yeah, it's it's just going to be 40 nuggets from Burger King. Which is fine. Do you have a favorite Beyond Meat meal? Uh, I used to love Beyond Meat sausage, and then they changed the recipe, and now I'm super disappointed with it. Um, I still love the Impossible Whopper, to be honest. It's like my favorite Impossible food. They have two mana left over? I guess they're going to kill something, because this format's full of just murder your guys. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They did not kill anything. They played a stupid signet. 
Well, that is something. So you block here and then you shoot it, right? So it's not ideal. I mean, I'd probably just come in for eight and make you have to deal with both of these guys, so. I have not had the impossible sliders at White Castle because I've never been around a White Castle, but I agree that the Red Robin Impossible Burgers are great. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me on twitch.tv slash prankpoormanitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. And patreon.com slash Those are great places to support the channel. You can also subscribe on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, both of those help me out a lot, and they're great ways to say, hey, I really enjoy watching your content every single day for free. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much, guys.